Hello everyone, this is Toxic Nation here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to install Minecraft Comes Alive for 1.5.2. I know I already made a successful video on how to install Minecraft Comes Alive for 1.5.1. I got a comment saying he has, they have to have it for 1.5.2. Okay, I'll do this video for 1.5.2. Nonetheless, I also said, D does one, another one said, does it work for 1.5.2? Yes, it does, just don't install this. And get the right types of things. But, like in some other videos, you, any modding, you're going to need WinRAR. So, oops, <clears throat> I'll have a link to this in the description. But, whether you speak English, you're going to want to find your language, then you're going to want to find what bit you have. So you're going to just go to your control panel. For really any other version than Windows 8, I'm not really good on that, but I'm not sure. Windows 8, you just go over here, click your magnifying glass, type in control panel. P pretty much everything below it, you just go here and type and click the control panel thing. You're going to want to go into your system and security. And then you're going to want to click system. And it's going to tell you right here that I have a 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. So, yeah. And uh, that's how you find out. Then you're going to download the type of bit you have. So it'll say 64 or 32. You're going to get the 64 or 32 type, obviously. Now you can just double-click that. And I don't know if my thing is recording this. I've had problems with that before. But anyway, this little thing will pop up. It says user account control. You just want to click yes to that. And then this will pop up. So just click install. Now it, it'll it look just like this. I suggest just checking that jar file just to make sure that everything's cool. Just now you're done with WinRAR. So yeah. Now you're going to go to your percent app data percent and remember how I said for Windows 8 how to get control panel same thing magnifying glass percent up data percent that's all you have to do and yeah now you can go into your debt minecraft I hope I don't have a dang it I already have this modded oh well okay I, I looks like I'm gonna have to redo that I'm gonna pause the video when I have my jar back up because it's already modded. Hold your breath. <gasps> okay, guys, I'm back. And you see Minecraft 1.5.2, I did nothing. I just got a new jar because that jar was already modded. But like I say, go to your percent app data percent Minecraft. Now it'll look like this. It should, at least. Go into your bin. Go into your dot Minecraft. Or your Minecraft dot jar. And this is what it'll look like, unless you already have mods. Otherwise, you're not going to need Forge. So delete files in the meta inf because that doesn't make you. It doesn't allow you to install mods. Now, this is Forge. I was trying to find a way to put that anyway. There, it's going to have a meta inf file in it. You're just going to want to delete that too. And yeah. So now you're done with your Minecraft.jar, but you just have to run your Minecraft before you do anything with the, the Minecraft Comes Live. If it'll open. <laughs> then you log in. It should be doing this. And if it's not, then you did something wrong. And it's only the black screen. Or if it does this a little bit, then the black screen. Then it goes to Mojang, then another black screen. Stuff like that. You did something wrong. Or if it's just says updating Minecraft or updating my yeah um you did something wrong chances are you delete like for my other video uh if you deleted your Minecraft your minecraft.jar then that would make sense why it's only updating it like that but anyway minecraft forge three mods installed coda pack your f mo mod loader and your forge so now you're done with those, and now you go back into your dot Minecraft, 
And you will need WinRAR for this. If I think I already installed that. <laughs> I don't know. I forget. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Go into your config. And you take the contents. Place contents in config folder. So you just grab that. And take that into there. Click this little back button. Click here. Go into your mods. This is going to say place contents in mods folder. See? Now drag that in there. And you're done. That's it. It should work. And I will have a link in the description to my review on this mod because I tried it the last time with a review and I went and exceeded my limit. It sucked. But oh well. And as you can see, four mods installed. Minecraft comes live. Right there. So thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, rate. Only nice comments. <laughs> Subscribe. And yeah. Toxic Nation.